if you think I'm serious, but also playful, I feel like I'm both <laughs> talking to myself about the conflict or paradox being resolved in one. Actually, that's the theme of this I want to capture. But you may find capturing is not capturing at the end because it's a very, very tricky process. So again, I feel like I'm playing, but I'm very serious. So let me try. I hope I don't have to try because if you try, you cannot. So you have to let things to be popping up like the synchronicity and the awakening. So that's the theme. And uh, again, tricky. In the last uh, um, one minute show YouTube, I was talking about realizing that we cannot escape is the escape. And I know it's a paradox. And to get there, what's another paradox? And the paradox is, so it's paradoxes everywhere. But it's like I talked about the brain and heart, the mind and heart, or body. The one is the before the departure from the Garden of Eden, Eden, and after is the eating the knowledge and play with it, and that's the dualistic of the right and wrong and beautiful, ugly and uh, rich and famous and not so. <laughs> so we tangled up in that and get confused and caught up in there, and we get lost from the way of the universe or the way of who we are in a natural being, the garden of Eden. So it's such a paradoxical existence, human existence is. That's one way I look at it. And by now, maybe only 3% of the people listening to this video would leave, uh, except for those 3%, because what's the point of such a discussion? But maybe 3%, maybe 5% is still listening. And there's a reason for this thing, in my view, because there's, I don't know, the word truth is the right word, but easy way to say is get out of the suffering. Because if you can resolve the pro problem related to the paradox, in my view, it's like an enlightening, awakening, that there's another universe or ultimate universe or the universe already is functioning that you can connect or touch to them. So you are being one with the universe and therefore in that state there is no death or even life because you don't differentiate because you go flow with the way of the universe and that's the nirvana. I mentioned about the Shin Buddhism and the Myokonim. Saichi says, I go there and back, I go there and back. Namu Amidabu. So that's the sense of how he lives in the mind. And sometimes the horn or the you know stuff you think is crazy, Papa. But he's got the connection to the heart in, in his word, the Amida Buddha. So human existence has this. Uh, dualistic part of it in our brain and that has its own use but there's also a connection to the heart because that's where we came from. So that's a paradoxical experience. So in the recent uh, past I posted uh, a few way, a few videos about my heart related problem and how to resolve it and I was talking about dynamic process of life in terms of facing the difficulties and passing through with ideas and wisdom and compassion or acceptance. Die um, to live and live to die. All those are paradoxical experience, um, expressions. And uh, I kind of feel sorry to talk about it because it doesn't have to be told, but it's the reminder that is that universe functioning because like was that James Webb 
you know, the, the telescope discovering the new universe beyond the universe kind of thing. It's fascinating. And uh, some people realize and say something like, uh, we are born so that we can see the work of God. But to be able to see the work of God, not just human perspective, but connecting to the God, which may be controversial to say, is the oneness and the life and death doesn't exist because non-duality. Or the suffering, you can enjoy suffering that I have posted in one of, one of the videos with the Hermann Hess. And the funny thing on that is that I read Hess when I was 16, 17, and I picked up that wonderful books, many books, but I didn't know at the time that was straight originated from the Buddhism and Taoism and Eastern, if you call it philosophy, it's not philosophy, not the world's level, it's just the connection of the uh, paradox, absolute paradox, but can be connected with a spark enlightening, awakening. And that's the point I was talking originally about what was the word I used. The way to escape is to realize that we cannot escape. <laughs> that's samadhi state of no mind. That's the simple way to look at this. Because in a few videos I mentioned, I was looking from all various angles, but I can see if there's people reading or watching may be maybe possibly a little confused. So I keep saying come to the root, connect to the root, and that's the way to connect to the root is to let go of the mind. And one easy way, and that's the point of this, is to not resist or to realize there's no escape. Beautiful. Except mind says, I want to try. <laughs> and in the case of this health, um, health related issues I had, I could see trying. And because of the trying, I could find the solution. So you can find a solution by just being dead physically or spiritually dead again the words I'm sorry for this expression but uh, through that is peace but I take the route of not just spiritually but also with the use of the mind we got the brain so I want to use it and I have the engineering background to question what if what if what if hypothesis and get the answer and then in that case of health related, this is a diabetes symptom that I'm okay with it, but I got surprised, but then find a solution, I believe. I felt comfortable, so I haven't checked afterward, but uh, I don't need to check. So, no resistance. It goes back to the way, the Taoism. And it's just wonderful, Tao Te Ching. And and Chang Tzu. And to get the sense of what they're talking about <laughs> requires for us to let go of the brain, mind part. That's again the paradox. Because the brain is developed for the sake of doing whatever its function and you let go of it. Like Amida Buddha, take care of me and I'm fine. Like a case of Sai Chi and others. It's counterintuitive from the way we are born and raised by parents that uh, it's dangerous to touch that hot plate or don't go there nearby that house because there is some dog. It makes sense. So we are conditioned to secure, like Maslow's hierarchy, to secure our life. There's nothing wrong about it. That's how we evolve. But that's not the whole of the equation because the brain has limitation. Okay, AI, all the stuff going on. 
would reach out the potential beyond what we have. And there's a great achievement can, can be made because we don't have to do all the paperwork and assembling this and then figuring out. It helps us as a co-pilot or assistance to let go of the stuff to come to the answer quickly. But then we are still left with what the life is or whatever. I, I'm pretty sure about it because life never ends and if you solve the problem, the other problem <laughs> pop up. <laughs> From my life, I can say that. So it's a continuous process of awakening, if you want to call them, or assure the root of who we are. And that's the point of this. Okay, let's try to summarize. What I said is, to escape, you and if you're in the position that there's no escape, realizing that was the escape. Another expression, come to the same point is if you're not sure if you're awake or not, just to check if you are not awake. And if you try to see if you're not awake, let's do it now. And I had posted the video on that one, experimenting. And if you, or if I check if I'm awake or not, to check you have to have the state of your being awake. <laughs> so it's the same thing. So when I had that health related issue, I went through that without noticing as much, but I'm reconfirming. Whenever I come up with the wisdom is when I accept and realize futile effort to me doing it. And I said, what's the point? Let's enjoy the suffering, which is the same thing as accepting, accepting as it is. Just be aware. No resistance and not to escape. Brain says you have to escape. The, the ego says that's the function of the brain. Then you say that to the brain. Don't worry. Be happy. Bob Marley. Be, just be, be aware, no resistance, no need to escape. I'm sure it works on your drug addiction and drinking and uh, alcohol and uh, whatever that can, you need some sexual desire, I don't know. <laughs> I'm 75, so <laughs> sort of remember some of those. And you get deluded. That's human. That's the privilege of being human to be deluded. And because of that, we have the path to go through it, be aware of it, connect to the root. That's it. No philosophy needed. You get tangled up brain over brain. Just point. In this case, just be aware, just notice there's no escape. Then the path for escape is there. We are born as the dust of the universe to be alive and communicate. That's nothing but miracle. And that miracle force will carry us wherever we are. We just don't know it. But we have a way of knowing it by the famous saying, know thyself. To know thyself, you let go of yourself. Then you really know who yourself is, which is rooted to the core of who you are. Case closed. You ride the wave of the universe. But it's just the word. So I would fail to practice this. I know it. Because this brain want to perform their function, the mission, and what they like to do. But I have to have the eyes. So there's a moment that just let go. 
So let's see if this makes sense or not. And that can be only be proven not by the logic, because even by the logic you can prove it, you may not be able to experience it. So it has to be the experience of wisdom. Therefore, we have lived the life as it comes. That's the kind of swordmanship. Any potential danger would pop up. So enjoy the ride, enjoy the suffering. Be happy. May all be beings be happy. I know such suffering. Well, I haven't lost it, you know, injured in the battle, so I cannot know it. But I'm aware of it, and it's very sad. All the things that can happen can cause suffering. As human, we're stupid. And again, you know, I don't know, 90% of the people in prison is ma male. And all the funny story and about the view about the free spirit. It, it's it's uh, something to be awakened to know what it can be. So let's see and practice it. Well, this may be the end of my YouTube, <laughs> if I can summarize. Maybe I was aiming for that, but we'll see. I'm sure I, I have things to say, but I just wanted to make my best shot given the situation coming from US, New Zealand, here, my friends, spending time my my brother, wonderful time. Lots of things happening in Japan that I didn't know. They had the energy I felt and I had some worrying thought about the Japan sinking, maybe economically, but the harmony is important. So there's appreciation, so there's pros and cons to every aspect of things probably. We do. That's a dualist. If you say A, there's always B or X or Y. Good and bad. May peace, may peace be with you. Thank you.